Fantasy football is something near and dear to every football fan's heart. Every year we get super excited for the opening draft. We want to draft the best team possible. We want to make all the winning picks. We want to brag to our friends. I have compiled a list right here of five players that I think you need to avoid in your draft. Now, these aren't just players that I think will be a bust or anything. These are just players based on where they're rated, where they're going to be drafted, or stories developing around them that I personally will not be touching when I draft later on this week. So let's just jump right into it. These are in no particular order. Starting at number one, David Johnson. He was at one time the fantasy league leader in points. Coming in at the number sixth overall running back for the Arizona Cardinals and the number seventh overall pick currently. Now, my issue with him is one simple thing. I don't trust Arizona and I don't trust Arizona to use David Johnson correctly. Cliff Kingsbury, um... Kyler Murray, a bunch of players that I, I think they have a terrible O-line, possibly one of the bottom three, bottom four. It's going to be an uphill battle for David Johnson. He will get a decent amount of touches, but he'll never be back to that number one fantasy rusher. It's just not a, it's not a, a realistic ceiling for him. And I would hope to see him go maybe top 10, like around the ninth, 10th overall pick. But I have a feeling in a lot of drafts, he's going fifth or sixth. Now coming in next is a man that I'm going to be avoiding because we all have in our draft a player like this who is going to go super high because there's someone who is a homer. Tony Romo, first pick. And is in love with Patrick Mahomes and they just want to show the entire world that they drafted Patrick Mahomes and they're the best alive. Number one overall quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, coming in at number 37 overall. I see him going first or second round that high. I have a feeling he's going first round in mine, and I just don't trust myself. I'm not going to waste a pick that high on him because that's just not where I want to draft a quarterback. You can get much better value later on, and well, even though he might be the godsend for Kansas City with Andy Reid, it's just not a player that I will be looking to pick up. All right, up next we have Tyree Kill. He's going to be the number six wide receiver, number 11th overall. For me, this is a guy that I can easily see a lot of people drafting, but I just don't want him too many off the field issues. If he even sniffs any more trouble, he will be suspended. And that's not something you want to have if you're going with a first round pick. You try to normally get the for sure thing. So Patrick Mahomes, uh, and Tyree Kill are just two players that I can see going in the first round that I just can't trust. Tyree Kill mostly having the issue of I just don't want to worry about if I'm going to have him week to week. Now this is a guy later on a few weeks after the season has started. If you're feeling good about him, then you, you drafted correctly. But for me, I try to make the safest draft picks in the first round. And that's a guy that I just don't want to touch. Coming up next... Dallas Cowboy fan favorite Ezekiel Elliott, number fourth ranked running back, second overall. I don't want to touch this guy. Too many off the field issues. I don't know if I'm going to be not having him for the first three or four weeks. Tony Pollard looks good without him, but Ezekiel Elliott has become a very good pass catcher and he's going to go very high. I can see him slipping a little bit in my league due to this issue off the field. I don't know how much it's going to affect in most leagues, though. I can't touch him because, once more, if you're a first-round draft pick, I need you playing almost every single game. I don't trust Elliott. I think having two years left on a contract and holding out is a major flaw. I think he has he's not mature enough to be in the NFL, and he's definitely not mature enough to be the highest-paid running back. Multiple off-the-field issues, getting arrested, domestic violence. These are all red flags when it comes to drafting a first-round pick. And finally, a guy that many would argue is one of the greatest fantasy players last season, Todd Gurley, coming in at the number 10th running back, 12th overall. I can't touch the guy because the touches will have decreased from last year. You will not see a repeat in his workload. That's going to be a big issue, especially if you're in a PPR league, a half PR league. It, it's definitely going to be a major issue there because you're not going to be getting those pass catches all the time. There's a lot of questions on him in terms of what will he be moving forward? Is he going to be the guy that we saw in the playoffs where CJ Anderson kind of did most of the work and he was MIA for most of the postseason? 
Or are we going to be seeing similar to the first few weeks when he was lighting it up left and right? It's definitely going to be something to keep an eye on. But once more, when you are doing a first round pick and you're in a very highly competitive league, you don't want to have a risk on a guy that could be a number two back. You, there's a lot safer options out there that you should be looking towards. So unfortunately, Todd Gurley can be one of those players that midway through the season, I'm completely wrong on and I understand that. But hindsight's 2020. I'm not going to be taking a risk on him. The only player that on this sheet I would feel confident in taking is Tyree Kill just because all he has to do is stay out of trouble. He's a great talent. But all these other guys, I just can't see myself taking Patrick Mahomes that high. I can't see myself taking David Johnson, too many question marks. Ezekiel Elliott is, I don't know when he's going to be playing. And Todd Gurley, I we might never see the same Todd Gurley that we once saw. 